good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doken Battle video and in this video we are going to go through well we're going to go through the collection of epic battles event stage 2 uh, which obviously features fighting the extreme class enemies of the planet Namek saga uh, and also brought about a new support memory which features Super Saiyan Goku uh, who obviously we can collect by completing all the missions uh, the three new missions that have been added are for Planet Namek Saga, Legendary Existence and Super Saiyan category teams completing the event which shouldn't be too bad because you can if you have the Legendary Goku you basically get an easy mode to the event but yeah overall uh, a nice addition obviously we did the first one you get five stones for each category clear plus you get five stones for clearing the mission anyway so that's 20 stones as well which is always a nice bonus and yeah uh, we will be completing this one with a legendary existence team obviously i do not have uh, goku so we're going to be using a friend goku as the lead uh, and then we're going to be running um our own super AGL transforming Goku as lead after his easy A. So that's the team we're going to be running with here. Uh, and we're going to be using a free to play uh, UI Goku as well. So a pretty decent team. Uh, the first enemy here that we're going to be starting with is Kui. Uh, obviously he's famous for dying to Vegeta pretty much. Uh, marking Vegeta and then getting blown to shreds. Uh, the first fight is pretty straightforward he's just uh, immune to stunning so nothing too crazy here uh, as the previous stage uh, obviously you kind of ramp up as you go along in this event uh, you guys know it, in the previous stage it kind of started with uh, fighting nail and then you fought piccolo who assimilated into nail or you fought krillin and gohan then you fought vegeta and then you kind of fought you know Goku and all of his different phases. Uh, the events in themselves, I think the super one, uh, just for the category missions, feels slightly harder than the uh, first one where you were using extreme units. Uh, and the reason is, is I think in the extreme units, the categories were uh, full power, planet Namek saga, and they were, oh, I can't even remember now. But yeah, I, they were a lot easier because I think, you know, you could use a freezer friend lead on most of them, which I think made them a bit easier. But yeah, overall, uh, somewhat straightforward. I've elected to go for the double fight here uh, against Dodoria and Zarbon. Uh, Dodoria being immune to ceiling, Zarbon being immune to stunning. Again, this is kind of not as hard uh, as the final stage, obviously. Uh, it's a, another step up. You can see they do a decent chunk of damage. I mean, Goku has 130k uh, defense. He's taking 130 from a super. So their supers do do some damage. Uh, it was always the case with this event. Overall, I think these events are pretty damn good. Uh, I quite enjoy these events. I think they're a nice change up and I think having requirements like using super class characters for one stage and using extreme class characters for other stages uh, is a nice touch. Uh, it allows you to still obviously put super and extreme class units into teams if you need them but you know that they're not going to do damage so it makes things quite interesting uh, which I find quite enjoyable uh, obviously. Oh, and then Sworn Enemies was the other category. So you see, you could pretty much use a LR Freezer in most of those situations. And if you couldn't, the full power category has a lot of uh, nice little substitutions. The Legendary Existence category feels very limited uh, if you don't have the LR Goku lead. Uh, I was looking at it earlier and it just feels very limited. A lot of the best legendary existence units as well or some of the nicer units are extreme types so they're not going to be doing any damage. So overall it just feels a little bit stranger to put together. On the same side the planet Namek Saga super team also feels a lot more nuanced. Uh, the extreme side obviously had the benefit of getting a new extreme lead uh, but also got all the buffs to the Ginyu force which really helps it out. Whereas the super class team did get uh, Piccolo, who's a great free to play. I mean, not free to play, he's a great uh, banner unit and support for the category. 
but you know krillin and exchange vegeta hasn't got their easy a just yet so they're a little bit weak uh comparatively they did get the two new super lrs who help a lot but needing an lr to finish a stage feels a little bit you know of a heavy investment so yeah just overall feels a, a little bit harder but i think the stage is roughly equal anyway so we're on to this stage right here uh, so obviously this is based on the physical ginyu force lr uh, they are immune to stunning they're immune to sealing uh, they can't have their attack lowered they can't have their well they can launch uh, two super attacks in one turn so that's kind of their gimmick uh, they can fire off more than one super attack. You need to be a little bit careful here. Uh, main reason being is you just need to be aware of the fact that you are carrying a int unit. Uh, possibly a couple int units depending on your lineup. Uh, like here we have obviously MUI Goku. We have uh, the LR Goku. So you can feature quite a few int units. Uh, so you might want to pop a damage reduction item or something. You're generally going to want three items for the final stage. Obviously, uh, if you get lucky, Goku will solo uh, the skin you. Uh, that can happen. So it's just going to depend realistically on how you find uh, that balance in your team. Are you feeling under threat? How much health do you have left? Uh, they can hit quite hard with their supers, uh, as you will see here. So, yeah, just be aware of that and make plans around it but otherwise they're not too difficult uh, barring catching a super on the wrong unit uh, and yeah everything should be more than fine we are pairing up the mui goku and the ui free to play goku as much as they cannot link due to being the same name uh, the category buff from the ui goku is good enough to keep things ticking over and they make quite a powerful single rotation obviously stacking their defense they both have evasion so for the legendary existence category, they kind of feel like an okay rotation in terms of preventing damage, stacking obviously, and just in general not getting into too much trouble. Uh, I've also taken the Easy A Tapion Harutagon unit, uh, obviously a great unit defensively, uh, has decent defense and high damage reduction, and also has the giant form transformation, uh, which, you know, helps... Uh, it's not always the best, but it does help. It gives us some time, just uh, gives us a little bit of a break, uh, and just lets us reset ourselves. Uh, we do also have a transforming Super Saiyan Plan Namek Lead Goku, and we obviously have the AGL transforming Goku. We'll use the active skill here from Goku to finish off the Ginyu Force. I think that's the best call. Uh, and then we'll be able to head into the Freezer fights. Now, obviously, with the freezer fights, just remember that Goku's going to be doing crits, so you really need to make sure that Goku is the focal point. He's going to be dishing out a lot of damage. He's going to be realistically finishing off freezer, and everyone else is just kind of there not to die. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. But that's uh, that's obviously everyone else. So now we get to freezer. Freezer is immune to stunning and sealing from the get-go, and immune to attack lowering. So pretty much anything that's important. Uh, you can lower his defense, uh, which is helpful, but I wouldn't build a team around lowering defense as the 4th and 5th stages will reduce, will ignore, and be immune to that as well. Uh, and then in the final stage, good old Frieza locks switching. But that's realistically about it. Your concern points are going to be this first little bit here against the tech unit. Uh, I feel like this is a stage, if you're going for this team build, uh, that you're okay getting through due to damage, uh, but obviously you just want to make sure that your AGL unit, especially Bardock, uh, because Bardock needs to stack some defense before we transform him, uh, but Bardock especially needs to kind of not receive a super attack, and so too the AGL Goku. Uh, he won't get you killed like Bardock, but I would say it's not the greatest uh, thing to happen in terms of all the units uh, I think I don't know what a comparable difficulty is for these final bosses here they're not they're not gods of destruction level but they feel like <laughs> they feel like they're a mix between LGE GT heart they, yeah they're kind of like if I could make a step between 
the first legendary god goku event and the lge gt event i would say these guys fall in the middle of that they that's what their difficulty feels like they feel like they fall in the middle of that level of difficulty so yeah it's a pretty interesting like how do you it's a pretty interesting level of difficulty it's certainly challenging uh, i think it is an achievement to complete these events uh, especially the category challenges you need a certain kind of box you do need to build some kind of a team you can't just waltz in there with uh you know slapdash units and get it done uh, you do need to put some kind of team together to achieve these goals so i you know it is definitely a challenging event is it ESBR or Gods of Destruction level? Certainly not. Is it as easy as the Legacy of Goku event? I mean, yeah, no, not really. So, yeah, I think overall I'm probably happy with saying that this is in between those two difficulties. And it's probably similar to being a slightly harder IDBH is also possibly a good description. So, yeah, overall quite happy with this kind of event though i'm glad they added it in i think it adds a little bit of sparkle uh it feels a little bit different to the uh, idbh because obviously you can select the enemy you face in the second and third fight and a little bit more gimmicky uh it feels like moments from the show whereas idbh always feels like you're just running through units uh so yeah overall really happy just with what's going on so this is another section where you need to be careful. Um, obviously, again, because we have end units, uh, a physical section is quite threatening to us. Uh, so you do want to just be careful with what's happening here. Uh, be aware of your units and everything. Possibly use a Whis or restore some health or use a Princess Snake, or whatever you're using. Uh, remember princess snakes are not as effective in these kind of stages because these units cannot have their attack lowering so if you're looking to bring items don't bring princess snake rather bring a healing item and a Whis or an icarus item because yeah it's not worth it to bring a princess snake it's the same as a, uh, a chi chi uh, the items can't circumvent the boss mechanic so if you bring a nurse chi chi it's not going to work on these final bosses so yeah just overall just be aware of that um but yeah that being said i think i think you know this one i definitely feel like maybe this one was harder than the first one uh maybe that's just because of my box and everything but yeah for me it definitely felt a tiny a tad bit more difficult uh, i definitely well, one i didn't first time clear all of these category challenges I had to try twice on Planet Namek Saga and on Legendary Existence. Uh, so, yeah, that's definitely something... I mean, okay, people will say, oh, you had to try more than once. For the most part, that is a sign that at least the stage is more difficult than I thought. Because uh, usually I'll be able to assess the strength of an event um, quite well. But, yeah, no, it's it's been definitely very interesting. Uh, I've really enjoyed this event. Uh, I've yeah i've had a lot of fun with it i'm interested to see which ones they bring out next what they go with next but yeah overall it's been a nice addition to the game uh, i definitely think it's been a uh, enjoyable content and i think people who haven't done it or haven't tried it yet uh, even if you just go clear it with a normal team like a, te a team that's not um how do you say like a category team or something even just going with a normal team to get the five stones uh, is probably something you should definitely do so we're at third form freezer this fight shouldn't be that big a worry to us uh, we have no real tech units of note and we started to stack our defense to a decent point as well uh, so we're not too concerned about freezer remember the lr goku super saiyan uh, he stacks defense on his 12 key so he's been stacking this whole time as well so not honestly phased about fighting uh, third form freezer he's probably the break stage uh well at least for this team build he feels like the break stage uh where you can kind of take some time reset regain some health stack up some defense and just kind of get things done but of course uh it's going to depend on 
your team build it's going to depend on what you are using who's in your team are you running double goku leads are you not running double goku leads remember for the super saiyan and the legendary existence category you can definitely run double goku leads that is advisable um obviously because having two gokus maximizes your damage obviously uh if you are not doing that uh, then it can be somewhat difficult uh, because of course um, you are not relying on Goku for damage. In the Planet Namek Saga case, either you put Goku in the team or alternatively your best bet is probably to run uh, either the Planet Namek Piccolo as a lead uh, or the Super Saiyan Goku as a lead and then make sure that you have Nail. Having Nail is going to be a big help. Um, most people either won't be able to do it with Nail uh, or you will need to have a lot of Goku. Uh, they're just two of the best sources of damage against Freezer. Uh, unfortunately, Bardock, who's in the Super Saiyan team, is a good source of damage against Freezer, but he's not necessarily the greatest uh, because he can't fit on Planet Namek Saga. So that's kind of your solution. As you can see there, we took a fair chunk of damage uh, from the third form Freezer. So again, just highlighting that these units do do decent damage. Uh, you do need to be aware of this. Obviously, once Goku stacks quite a bit, once the MUI has stacked, once the physical UI has stacked, uh, you should be fine. But you do just need to be aware of these things. Bardock, you really want him to stack defense uh, as much as he can. Uh, it's a bit difficult because you can definitely miss super attacks with them, and him floating doesn't really give him a lot of opportunity to stack. But try and stack him as much as you can and then transform him. Uh, luckily the strength phase is just before the AGL so hopefully you get to stack him a tiny bit during this period uh, so that he can at least get one or two super attacks in and then when you transform him he has a better shot against the AGL freezer. Uh, we're going to try and burst down the AGL freezer is essentially the strategy and getting the evasion on the super attack there was really clutch from the MUI or the MUI now but the UI in Goku. UI in Goku showing his value once again, being a super clutch, really helpful unit uh, for this event. So yeah, really, really happy with Goku overall uh, and super happy with how the event is going. Uh, obviously, Strength Freeze is the second to last phase, uh, but there is no gimmick with him. Uh, he's just uh, the Strength Freezer. Uh, Bardock manages to get a super attack in there. You'll see he's still taking some damage. But when he transforms, he does gain a bit of damage reduction, chance to evade, so he should be fine as a floater if we need him to transform. Of course, here we really just uh, kind of want to focus on having the Int Goku really stack up as much damage as possible. But overall, uh, everything's really more than fine. Uh, more than happy with how everything's going. We do have Goku Strength's Rage form if we need. Uh, we'll save that for the AGL portion because obviously uh, just being careful with uh, what tools we use. Uh, ideally, we also wanted to save the active skill of the LR Goku for the final phase as well because all of that kind of stuff really comes in handy, really helps out overall. So yeah, but either way, really, really impressed uh, with the team. Uh, I like the event. I do think it's really, really good. Um, and yeah, just honestly a really, really fun event to do. I actually quite enjoy these. So yeah, I enjoy doing the videos on them, putting the category challenges out. So I think they are somewhat interesting, especially if you don't use the LRs. Uh, I think it can be interesting to put a team together. Obviously, using them as friend leads is advisable. But yeah, if you don't use the LRs, it, it can be somewhat interesting. Uh, but here we go, we've got uh, good old Freezer in his final state. Uh, you're going to want to burst everything down right here, so you should have some items left, hopefully two. I would say having two items for this final phase is advisable, depends on how strong your team is, what kind of units you have rainbowed, etc, etc. But yeah, ideally I would say it's at least advisable uh, to have some heals and some Whis. Uh, Freezer, just like Goku in the previous stage, does seem like he becomes a little bit less tanky in this final form. Uh, or maybe that's just my luck or the stacking of attack and everything showing. But yeah, overall he does just feel a tiny bit less tanky, which is, you know, always more than fine. I think they do do that because obviously they know players uh, are struggling near the end a bit. So maybe they do just knock down their tankiness a bit and kind of make it a bit of a DPS race. 
Uh, we've had the free-to-play UI Goku stacking to quite a decent extent, uh, and he's managed to now get his defense up to a really solid point. Frieza himself, really, really cool. Obviously, nice opportunity to see the really fluid animations, and we have a really cool background to go with it. The music's really great, so really feels like a cool fight, which I always really like. And then we've got the uh, transforming Goku there tanking pretty well. Uh, obviously, we have a uh, good old Bardock. Uh, Bardock himself still needing to stack a little bit, uh, as you can see. So something we're just being aware of. Uh, and yeah, uh, going to just see how it goes. Uh, we'll just kind of take it minute by minute. Obviously, uh, we're managing to chunk down Freezer quite well. Uh, transforming Bardock will give us more offense, but we need him to stack defense just a little bit longer and rather transform him once we run out of items. Uh, because obviously once he's transformed he no longer stacks defense. does raise defense for one turn of course, uh, but that obviously helps. Uh, as you can see there, uh, we're doing okay in terms of damage. Uh, obviously an important thing with this Goku here, the Super Saiyan one, is you really want him to transform as soon as possible. Uh, he needs to stack his defense. Uh, relatively quickly uh, also if you don't get the guard involved he can take quite a bit of damage uh, from the super attacks from freezer like 200k like you just saw there so that is something that you do need to be aware of uh, and just cautious of with using Goku that being said nothing too crazy obviously the uh, switch locking is quite an annoying uh, so if you have rotations that are set on doing certain things uh, you're going to need to be careful and just make sure that every unit essentially can survive hits from Freezer. Uh, you're not going to have the ability to switch out units, etc. and just change things up. You're just going to have to make sure that all of your units can survive the attacks and that everything will be going fine. That being said, uh, we're doing decent damage to Freezer. There's nothing going too wrong. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be able to wrap everything up here quite seamlessly. Uh, obviously this rotation is pretty strong defensively, having stacked their defense quite well. Uh, and we'll clean up Frieza with the MUI Goku or the transformed UI int Goku. But yeah, uh, that is pretty easy. Uh, well, not easy, but yeah, pretty much done. So pretty cool event. Uh, I really quite enjoyed it. Uh, let me know down in the comments how you guys are finding the event, uh, how you guys have been enjoying it, what kind of teams you've enjoyed using in, have you managed to complete all of the category challenges. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it from me guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, take care, cheers, and bye!